Hello everyone, my name is David Ovreshuk and I am HRU product manager. Today I would like to uh, explain you how to increase uh, energy efficiency of the supermarket by usage of heat recovery. All supermarkets have refrigeration system. The main purpose of this system is to uh, store the products at the right temperature level. During this process, a lot of heat is created and typically this heat is expelled through the roof by the gas cooler. At the same time, a uh, supermarket needs heat for its internal purpose, for space heating or domestic hot water preparation. If we will combine those two systems together, refrigeration system and heating system, and we will use heat created by refrigeration system internally, we can increase the overall efficiency of the store, we can reduce its carbon footprint and reduce also the overall operational costs. To make this process easy and efficient, we combined our cooling and heating expertise to create heat recovery unit. It is our standard solution for recovering heat from refrigeration systems using CO2. Recovered heat can be used internally for domestic hot water preparation, for space heating, but also our unit can export heat to uh, district heating networks or uh, building nearby. Our unit is standardized. We create until now six different layouts based on the store size. It is fully insulated and electronically controlled. So, and also it is easy to install uh, and it's compact size because all of the piping is prefabricated and tested in the factory. So, how this works? We need to recover heat, we need to prepare also our refrigeration system for it. We need to add there the CO2 water heat exchanger, uh, which is mounted typically on the refrigeration system. And then we are connecting the water piping to this heat exchanger. We also need a three-way valve, which is redirecting the CO2 refrigerant flow through the CO2 water heat exchanger before it is going to the gas cooler. Then, during the operation of the refrigeration system, when the hot CO2 uh, is going through the heat exchanger, we are uh, putting the cold water to it, we are cooling down the CO2, and then by cooling it, we are heating up the water. This water is then stored in our tanks, and when we have the right temperature level inside our tanks, we can uh, start to deliver this heat to our consumer in the building. And then, uh, so this hot water is going to our radiators, floor heating, ventilation system, and heat is used there, and water is cooled down. Then this water is going back to our uh, to our tanks, and then the process can start once again. By using buffer tanks, we can ensure that we can collect all available heat from refrigeration system. So, in case our refrigeration system is producing more heat than we are currently consuming, then the excess heat is stored in the tanks. And then, if we have bigger consumption than the production, First, we are emptying the tank from hot water and then, if this is still not enough, our unit has this feature that it can be connected to an uh, external heat source. This external heat source needs to add only the missing amount of energy. So it means it, not need, it don't need to be sized for full uh, heating requirements inside the building. Also, uh, a special feature of our unit is that we have three heat meters here. 
they are constantly monitoring the consumption of the heat in, inside the building. We also monitoring how much heat we need to add from external heat source and also how much heat we are uh, reclaiming from refrigeration system. Our uh, experience from the stores, which we have more than 100 now, uh, is that the return on investment was no longer than two years. And also, because we are constantly monitoring uh, the heat production and heat consumption, based on that, we were able to create a really nice case story uh, for the uh, store in Denmark. And this case story is really nice because it can really show how heat recovery can change uh, the cost of operation of the store. This store, by the first year of operation, was not using heat recovery. And then, after one year, uh, we as a Danfoss, we helped them to optimize their heating system. And also, we add the HRU. HRU could cover then more than 80% of the consumption inside the store. And the additional energy was added only during uh, winter period. Thank you for your participation in this event.